Hello! This is Jurabi Theria, bringing you another episode of AI The Somnium Files. We last left off, we went through Oda's Somnium world and saw some of the wackiest stuff in there. Like, he imagined himself to be like a hero of sorts. And honestly, as much as I am trying to be like as nice as possible to Oda and all of that, I wasn't really a fan of that Somnium world. It seemed like it was trying too hard to be funny, while the other Somnium worlds like, had their own uniqueness to them and didn't try to make you laugh. The only things that made you really laugh were like the stuff Dante and Aiba were doing in those Somnium worlds. You know? So, yeah, I, I wasn't really a fan of that Somnium world in particular. We then found out that his uh, mother, and I think Mayumi's his mother, right? Right? Hold on, let me check. Alright, yeah. Mayumi is Oda's mother. Alright, we also found out that his mother might have, like, some kind of connection to that place. But it seems like we only, like, uh, touch upon it in the other route. But in this route, it doesn't seem like we, we won't do that for some reason, even though we saw the knife. But I guess that we didn't really see the knife and make that connection. So I wonder what's gonna happen in this particular route, then. Because I really think that this... New Cyclops Killer might attack again, and I think they're going to like target Oda because I don't know. Oda has like seen what they're capable of and seen what they're like trying to do and all that, so they might target him to get rid of any like you know any potential threats to their like to whatever they're doing. We gotta figure out how to find this dude because uh yeah he fucking hurt Iris and made. He told me sad, so yeah. So yeah, we gotta catch him. We gotta get him behind bars, folks. Okay, so f before I begin this episode, like, I've heard this, like, there was this major discourse about, like, the game getting reviewed bombed because, uh, it had, like, a lot of sex jokes in it. And, like, a lot of people might have been turned off by the sex jokes that Dante always makes or, like, I don't know, it, it, it's something, I've looked up, like, Yonge's video about it, and, like, it's got me, like, confused, and, like, kind of, like, annoyed by ha the state of things. So, what do I think about this game? I think this game is pretty f hilarious, and pretty, and so far, it's really good. The cutscenes look great. They're not pitch perfect, but they're great. Like, the models were well done. There's a nice attention to detail on the characters' faces and all of that. Not to mention that the atmosphere of this uh, game, like, this area in particular is just fascinating. Not to mention that the characters so far are pretty great. Like, Dante, I fucking love Dante so much. Like, he was so hilarious. I like Aiba, I like Boss, I like Cuter, even though he's weird. I still like Oda, even though, like, I kind of shit him a lot, but that's kind of, like, because he's horny for Iris. I love Iris, I fucking love Mitsuki, and I fucking love... He told me so much so yeah the characters in this game are great they're great the story well i do think that the story is getting a little too slow paced in all honesty because like i don't know it just feels like we're walking in circles at this point trying to figure out how we're gonna catch this cyclops killer i mean we are learning new things but i don't know it just feels like just moving a little too slow but overall I'm really enjoying this game. And most importantly, the comedy is just pitch perfect. Especially in the last episode, where we found out that Misuki has this tremendous strength for a little girl. Like, how old is Misuki again? She's 12 with that strength. Enough strength to, like, lift 26 kilograms, was it? I think that's the number on the dumbbells that she was bench pressing. Like, they were, like, 26K. Wow, I, I don't even know how she's, how she's this strong. Not to mention that she punches and she like causes like a current of wind, just like that. Like, dude, how strong is this little girl? Dude, I do not want to fuck with her ever. Like, if she realizes how powerful she is, this new Cyclops killer is fucked. Like, seriously, it's just hit Misuki against this new Cyclops killer and we're good. We are fucking good. He will run with his tails in between his legs like a bitch he is. Yeah, you better fuck me, new Cyclops killer, because I'll be the one who rips your eyes out. Okay, so, I think next we're gonna do is that we gotta, like, talk to Oda here and then, like, you know, 
figure out where to go from here and all that. Okay, let's do that. But first, let's look into these files here because there's some new stuff. Bodyguard. Oh yeah, this dude. His name is Secret. Male. Unknown age. Birthday, May 25th. Profession, Sos Bodyguard. Likes. <laughs> boobs. <laughs> yeah, I like boobs, man. I fucking love them. Erotic novels, too. Yeah, I'm the guy with high-class taste. You better not mess with me, man. And I don't like fucking men. I'm not gay, okay? Big booby ladies are where it's all at. Testosterone. Wait, what's testosterone? I forgot about what that meant. Okay, hobbies. Swimsuit magazines. That's a hobby? What, like reading swimsuit magazines? Jeez, this dude's like... <laughs> Oh my god. He's skillful at self-defense. He is one of So's many bodyguards. Even though they look alike, they are not clones. They all wear face masks to hide their identity. Oh. Really? Is that what all bodyguards do? Huh, didn't think about that. Huh, that might be what the usual NPCs of uh, video games are like. They're just wearing masks. They're not all the exact same or something. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so, ICU, intensive care unit, does not mean I see you. <laughs> oh my god. See, this is what I mean when, the, when I talk about the comedy. The comedy just, like, speaks for, the comedy just speaks for itself at this point. 812, convenience store. 812, convenience store is popular across the country. Colloquial... Colloquially, colloquially referred, colloquially referred to as the eight stores. Mayumi purchased the Odoroki Man chocolate at one such store. Uh, okay. Conspiracy. Oh, you know. Yeah. Conspiracy. Conspiracy to commit murder. An agreement between two or more people to commit murder. In this penal system, those who conspire to commit murder. Those who. In this penal system, those who conspire to commit murder will receive the same punishment as the actual murderer, if convicted. Kaba Kabaddi. Kabaddi, a contact team sport popular in India. One player on the offensive side runs to the def one player on the offensive one player on the offensive side runs to the defensive side of the court while continuously chanting the word Kabaddi. Kabaddi tags. Kabaddi tags as many. Kabaddi tags. <sighs> Kabaddi tags as many opponents as they can, then return to their side. To, then returns to their side of the court all in one breath without getting tackled. Does not involve shooting, nor is it particularly cute. I have to look this up because I've never heard of a sport like this before. Well, that's it. Album. Day four. O to B. <laughs> what? The f oh my God! I was a fucking pancake right now. Oh my God! I turned into a pancake, Dante. What the fuck? I did not want to go through that kind of shit. Hmm. Iba pancakes. Maybe I should cook me and Misuki some Iba pancakes someday. Want to help out, Iba? Fuck you. Then there's this place. The yeah, this was the, the cafe that uh, Renji was killed at, right? I forgot what it was. Why did she? No, no. I forgot the name of this place. That's it. Hmm. All right, now let's explore this place once again. A CRT monitor. Dante, look. What is it now, Iba? Eagle B is streaming on Twitch! Oh shit, hell yeah! That haunted girl is crawling out of the well. Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or something? No, I'm just saying random stuff just to piss you off. Yeah, sure, Iba. Sure. Deal shelf. I open it up. It's stuffed with mysterious mushrooms. Pewter, what the fuck are you smoking this time? Oh, it is nothing. I'm just smoking on some weird toxic mushrooms on my free time. Nothing 
wrong here. Yeah, okay, okay, Peter, you, you do you, okay? Just you do you. But you better give me some before this is all over, alright? Locker? A locker. Yeah, who is this dude here? Is there someone in there? Did you hear something just now? I feel like I'm getting stalked at this point. I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. A locker in the corner. Is there someone here or something? Huh. How come we've not noticed anything until now? But, uh, okay. I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa. Why? What kind of fantasy is that? You got some weird things in your mind, Oda. Then again, I did see them with my own eyes. Alright, Peter, let's talk to you. About my brain's waves and Oda's. It's alright. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Okay, then. Peter is calm as usual. Okay, I, I know you're mad at me and all that, but... Come on. We almost saw to kill his face. We were this close to perfection. And he just, you know. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? No, I'm just fucking with you. Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. And then after that, it's sex, all right? Oh, sweet hell yes. Actually, no, you're kind of old, so. What do you mean, old? Don't make me gouge out your other eye socket, Dante. What? What? Or, you can lick my shoes. <laughs> what? Either or. I vow to never apologize for every, anything ever again. Dude, I am not boot licking your fucking shoes. Like, what kind of shoes? Like, what kind of shoes are these anyway? Like, what? This is some weird shoes. Shoes. He used to be wearing boots or something. The boss looks more upset than angry right now. Alright, Oda. About the hook and the polar bear's leg. How are you feeling? Where were you hiding the knife in your room? Oh, why were you hiding the... Why were you hiding the knife in your room? Wait, what? He hid the knife in his room? When? When? What? Uh, okay, well, how are you feeling, Oda? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. Yeah, I kind of fucked up your mind right now. Saw a lot of, like, iris porn in there, too, man. I gotta say, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta, like, be careful with that kind of shit, okay? Because, uh, in the U.S., yeah, no. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh! What? Oh, it hurts. What was that face he made? It started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Don't blame me, that was boss. I'll sue you for this! Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, come on. Or, how about this? No, 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 no. I'm not doing whatever messed up thing you have planned for Iris, alright? No. Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. The straws? What? I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Straw? Why would you want her straw? Guess so. <laughs> what? You're so weird, Oda. Okay, about the hook and the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. What do you mean, maybe? That's not something you should miss easily. Maybe? It's like I told you. I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, Blood sprayed all over. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. Oh wait, can we like, uh, sample the blood and see whose blood it could possibly be? 
None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. Hmm. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. Okay. Why were you hiding the knife in your room? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Wait, but how did you, like, keep that knife? How did the nurses in the hospital not notice it? Eh, whatever. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. <laughs> right, fuck you. I have more experience than you. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Oh, it might not be boss then. Wait, wait. If it's not boss, her, her wound, her, wait. Her left leg is all right. Shit. Is it not Boston? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? That's not how it works, boss. It's more than just like asking a bunch of people, right? Do you know how many people live in this city? What the fuck? What? Date, what is the matter? Oh, uh, what? Uh. Date! Are you alright? What the fuck? What? Uh. Wait, is this is the effect of, uh. Staying too long in the Somnium world or something? Ah, shoot. That's not good. Date Residence, Tuesday, 8.02 a.m. Sup, pussy? <gasps> Wake the fuck up! Hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Damn it! Mitsuki? What happened? He got wasted! You, you drank too much at the club and passed out. <laughs> Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Well, uh, thanks for watching over me, Mizuki. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, it is 25k. Jesus Christ, Mizuki. Like, I thought you were, like, lifting, like, 20k. No, I changed it to like 25k. Jeez. Don't remind me not to mess with you ever again. Yeah, like that's worked before. Okay, Mizuki. Did Boss and Pewter say anything? Where's Oda? Don't you have school? Where's Oda? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Alright, did Boss and Pewter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. <laughs> oh, gosh. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So, they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. 
You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Okay then. Don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? What? What? Taking the day off for morning. Oh. I see. Shoot. Ah, shoot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Back off. The back off, Dawson. Just, just, just bail. Okay. I see. All right, time to get back to the investigation. Bye, Mizuki. Good luck with your morning. Just take me with you already. God! Hey, will you take me with you? Yeah, sure, why not? I need your, like, immense strength anyway. I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. Just let her- No, you stay here. Just let her, Dante, come on. Dante, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Jeez, dude. Oh, I, I feel so bad for Mizuki. Like, shit. I just want to hug her. Even though she'll punch my guts out. Dante. Please. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't. I can't. I, this game is like tearing my heart asunder. Come on, let's just come on, come on, Date, Mizuki. All right, you can come, Mizuki. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. Yeah, it's me. No, it's actually God! You know to whom I am referring. Tell Mizuki that you'll take her with you. Yes! Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. Oh wow, that's actually the first time you've ever been nice to me, Mizuki. Well, don't get fucking used to it, you fucking loser! I got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it to at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. Don't we have the blood though? I guess that's not how it works. Like, we can't take blood samples or anything. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. Yeah, let's do that. She looks like she just washed her face. She's fucking ready to kick some ass. Hell yeah, girl. Just don't kick my ass, okay, Mizuki? Nah, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass right after we kick the killer's ass. That's a promise. Okay, when you say it while you're smiling, that's kind of like scaring me. You should be scared, Date. <laughs> okay, Bloom Park. Ikune Shrine, Cold Storage Warehouse, Lemnus Gate, Sunfish Pocket, Central Hospital, Marbles. Jeez, there's a lot of places I need to go to now. Okay, well, I think it's best just to like, okay, go to Bloom Park, uh, shoot, Sunfish Pocket, and then the Cold Storage Warehouse. Alright, I'll go to the, like, the crime scenes, then ask around. Bloom Park, Tuesday. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. 
I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. Huh. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Well, that's nice to hear. This is where I... Which one of these was Mizuki on? Was it this one or this one? Sky? Sky! You know, just like that one Love Life song where the girls like all shout Sky randomly. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh gosh. Uh, oh man. Dante, please. Once again, it's been a long time since you've said this, Dante. Please, please, for the people who love to hear you say it, please, say it for me. It's a bench! Oh, God, it's a bench! Benches! 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 Uh, Dante, what the fuck is up with you and benches? Whenever we come to Bloom Park, you always randomly shout at benches all the time. What is up with that? You don't understand, Mizuki. You don't fucking understand my feelings towards benches. They're just benches. You're such a fucking weirdo, Dante. I swear. Have you come here before with friends? Where was Renji when you were on the horse? Did you go on any other rides? Uh, did you go on any of the other route, rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. Besides, they all fucking suck, especially that one with the Egyptian one. What kind of madman would want to go on that kind of ride? It sounds like a ride for insane people. People who don't fear death or something. So stupid. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. Yeah, they were also lonely too. Right, Panda Man? Yeah, my god, I'm still lonely. <laughs> when, when are people gonna come back? I'm s I'm so lonely. Please help me, Dutty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. People will come back one day. Nah, no one's coming back. I was having so much fun, it felt... wrong. Like it was too good to be true. I see. Well... Where was Renji when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? Yeah, you do. He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Yeah, he really sucks at camera stuff. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Oh, I see. Say nothing. Have you come here before with friends? Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. What is that weird face you're making, Mizuki? What the fuck? Actually, I noticed that same exact face that she made in the last episode. It's like, it's really fucking funny. The way your mouth looks and all that. It's like, hey, what the fuck, dude? Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Ouch. Sorry that happened. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. That's okay? This is what I think. A family is... a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. I don't think that's the case. Huh? Like, 
You say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. Oh, well, yeah, that is true, but I wouldn't call them ordinary. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Oh, wow. Eventually, I got tired of trying. Aw, oh, this is too sad. Stop, game. What the fuck? I killed them. Dude, what? Oh, my... No, 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 you, you didn't do anything wrong, Mizuki. You didn't do anything wrong. No, no, don't fucking do this to me, game. Don't fucking talk about my heartstrings. Fuck you. What? I killed mom and daddy. No, 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 no. What are you saying? No, no, that's not what I was saying. Just say, no, you didn't. That, that's not I, true. I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. <sighs> Shit, dude. Just stop. This, all of this, is all my fault. Please say something to, to her, Dante. Just fucking please. Why me? Oh, wait, what? Hey, haven't you had enough? Oh, wait, oh. Wait, Dante remembers Shoko? Oh, wow, I, I didn't think he would. Wait, I, I forgot, did he ever mention that he knew her or something? I wonder. Why me? I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby. No child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. I'm sorry, if, you, if, that's, if that's how you think children work, then you, you're in for a rough time, girl. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Oh, look at if I talked to her in the past too. Wow. Shit, oh, oh I, I didn't expect this, but okay. Okay, let's do this game. I doubt they have anything to say, but let's go through all of this, okay? Can I talk to her? Yes, I can, okay. Alright, let's talk to Mama real quick. You should scold her. What do you think? I'll take a drink. Uh, what do you think? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. Alright, I'll take a drink. Like, five drinks, actually. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? Girl, there's... Actually, oh... Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. N never mind. Never mind. I didn't say anything. If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. You should scold her, then. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. There, I scolded her. <laughs> oh, my God. These characters are so fucking hilarious. The characters are fucking amazing in this game. I I swear. All right, where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home, not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Uh, do you want to call the night? What? Why? I mean, you're fucking 
drinking your brains out, okay? And bitching about some little girl, alright? That, that, what kind of parent does that shit? I finally get some time to myself, and you want to end it? Uh, no. Date, really? Just let her talk a little longer. Ugh. Seriously, this is not the kind of date I want. I'd rather be talking to Renju and be bros and be gay for each other. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, listen to the rest of the story then. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. That's the point of being a parent, though. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. Do parents never have a good reason for hating their child? They never do. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Jeez. Everything is her fault. You know, I, I feel like I should be hating on Shoko, but like... Jeez, like... Getting the concept of what's happened within, like, Mizuki's family is just like, wow. That was... Yeah, this whole ordeal was just, just heart-wrenching for Mizuki, for Shoko, and maybe even for Renju. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love them. But she has a hard time of it. Have I heard that voice actor before? Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Alright, I doubt there's gonna be anything said here, so I'm just gonna, like, talk to the characters. Alright, what do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? I don't know, you seem very insightful. Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. I mean, I don't even know what gender you are, so I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Uh, what time do you close tonight? When you two are done talking. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Damn it! Listen to Ren's story. She knows all of the strategies of making a joke. She's too good. Mama is still polishing the bonito. She, she's always polishing that, I wonder. What is this thing she has? Alright, I do feel... I do feel bad about Shoko. Except not really, I feel bad... More... I do feel bad about Shoko, except not really, I don't feel bad for her, but I kind of do, so, yeah. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick, why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem, Mizuki is the sick one. 
Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe... Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. I see. Couldn't you step in and take over the parenting then? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. You know, Rinchi's a lot more, like, calm-headed than I thought he would be. I, I was honestly pegging him to be, like, a, a kind of, like, dude who doesn't care about Mizuki, but it seems like he does care about her. That's hey, nice. that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. Damn. And he drops the mic. That hard. This is why I love Dante. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Uh, I want to hug her and give her so much affection. Oh, God. This game. Fuck this game. Fuck it. God, I can't believe this game got hate. Like, what the fuck? These characters are so fucking good. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Thank you, Dante. Thank you. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hug her. Ah, oh, now I don't want to even. Now I don't even want to go to the other route where she like stays mute all the time. Oh my gosh, dude, that would suck so hard if I went to the other route. Ah, oh, no. Oh my god, shit. I'm sorry, man. I'm really liking the characters in this game and the like the story and like the how the characters are acting and how they're feeling. It's just ugh. I love Hitomi and now I fucking love Mizuki even more now. And I just want to shower her in just so much fucking love. Damn it. Like God. I can't believe this game got like review bombed over something as trivial as sex jokes, because this game is has really good writing so far. Okay, Sunfish Pocket, let's go. Sunfish Pocket Tuesday. I visited Sunfish Pocket with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't Mizuki have something to tell us here or something? I forgot, but she said she was going to tell us something. I didn't find any clues. Hmm. Well, damn it. Which one is your type, Dante? <laughs> I get this. Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Alright, you're listening carefully, Mizuki. Are you listening carefully? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Better tell me. It's, it's probably the big boob ones, isn't it? No, it's the one with the thick thighs. And that is the pink one right here. Actually, no, that's the pink one. This red girl right here. Yeah, she has like the best thick thighs. Although the blue one is like a close second because mm, her boobs are like, mm, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Yeah, you asked me. Do not ask questions with answers you are not prepared for. Disgusting. You asked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's saying something here. Oh, wait, hold on. 
Pictures of made pictures of mates on display. If I had to pick one, I'd say the second from the left on the top row is by type. Of course, of course, if it came down to it, I would say no to any of them. Second row from the left on the top row. This one? Wow. Can I get a good look at her or something? I don't think I can. Hmm. Okay. I ah, can't zoom in. Dang it. Alright, Mizuki. Let's get going. Can you think of anything? I'm sorry for bringing you here. Uh, I'm sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? Yeah. I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... Yeah, you're growing into a fine young lady. Ew! What's with that comment, pervert? No, I, I, I meant you. I meant like I didn't mean like like physically. I, God damn it, Mizuki! Can you like not misunderstand me for five seconds, please? Can you think of anything? Um, not really. All right, then let's get going. Fuck this place, then. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Wow, really? Nothing. I was expecting like another emotional moment where like my uh, mind just breaks down into a million pieces, but okay, okay, whatever you say, Mizuki. All right, so, all right, let's go to the cold storage warehouse and see if what we can find. Cold storage warehouse Tuesday. This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? Yeah, but balls are freezing off. Gives me goosebumps. Like, literally, or... You scared? You know what I mean. That's rare. You need to chill. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the fucking eye socket for that pun, Tate. You need to get better jokes. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love that face of Mizuki. Oh, I understand. What? Oh god, just the fact that it took you, a multi-billion dollar creation, to understand a fucking pun. Just, just wow, Iba. Just fucking wow. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. You're such a fucking idiot, Iba. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I like how like, she's vibrating a little bit. That's a nice attention to detail when she's like shivering like that. Man, you're still here, dude? Actually, now that I think about it, it probably didn't happen that long ago, so yeah, there's probably are still here. What would happen if I put you in that box and then soaked it in gasoline and then lit it on fire? What the fuck, Mitsuki? What the fuck? I'd die, obviously. Hell yeah! Let's do it! Well, you couldn't fit me in the box anyway. Hey, first time for anything, Date. Oh. I'll just cut you into pieces then. Dude, Mizuki, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm the new Cyclops killer! Plot twist intensifies! Mizuki, stop fucking around, okay? I know you're lying. No, I'm not really. I am the Cyclops killer. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're fucking not. What would happen if I put you in that box and then dropped a 5-ton weight on it? Oh my god, Mizuki, please, please cut it out, all right? You're scaring the fuck out of me, okay? I'd die, obviously. Jeez, do you want to kill me? Hell yeah, dude! I would collect a lot of insurance. There's a big brain move on my part, then I could just act cute and get away with it. Hell yeah! I'm sorry to think that your mother was right about you, Mizuki. You really are abnormal in the worst way possible. A cop, he looks like he's cold. He might... He looks so cold, he might piss his pants. Oh god, I'm freezing my fucking balls off. My, even my piss is getting frozen. Oh god, and I need to go to the bathroom real quick. God! Oh, uh, okay, it, it's uh, that dude, Kagabi. Oh god, can't, can't see it. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, yes! What's your name, dude? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. You are fucking Bizzalead! Who the fuck is Bizzalead? Oh, right, you don't watch Nick Beast, uh, 
Let's play. Damn it. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? Oh my god. He fucking remembers my name. Oh my god. I'm fucking losing my marbles. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. My fault. Must be mistaken. No. No. You're exactly right. Oh my god. I, I just just my pants for now. Oh my god. Wow. What's the matter with you? No one's ever remembered my name before. It's... It's a first for me. Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. <laughs> oh Date, this guy is kind of weird. Yeah, he's my kind of guy. I should get him some beer sometimes, right? That, that would be fucking nice. Hey, Mizuki, you wanna come along? Dude, Date, you're. Uh, you know he can't drink, right? Yeah, but you're abnormal, just like your mother says. It's the first time for anything. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. Huh? What? Oh no. There are a lot of weirdos out there. If you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey. What the fuck, dude? You must be exhausted. This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? <sighs> Thank you for caring. It means a lot. Again. Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. What the fuck, dude? You just said it like five seconds ago. Date, sir. Hmm? What is it? Uh, what? This is how it's supposed to be. What? A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. Oh my god. But we're co workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Is this is this like a fourth wall break? Like, like we're not supposed to remember this dude's name because he's an NPC or some shit? Oh my god! All right, if you say so. <laughs> oh my gosh! This game is so fucking hilarious. Oh my god! I I love the comedy in this game. It is just just. Just too fucking good. Do you like this line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, yeah, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You know something, dude? You you remind me a lot of, like, Gatekeeper Coon from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Because again, I gotta reference that fucking game just in case you guys don't get it that I love Fire Emblem Three Houses. You're a great guy. <laughs> you should learn from him. <laughs> do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? What is it the pussy that you could possibly get from it? No, Mizuki. I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I get Who told you that? My dad! I'll show them trouble. Okay, any leads? No, not so far. Damn it. We see each other a lot, man. Yeah, you're right. It's almost like it's destiny! Maybe in a previous life we. Taro. What? You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. You guys are so fucking weird. Yeah, I know, Mizuki. We're a bunch of weirdos. Look at this blood. Oats was down around here, right? Correct. The blood stains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Yeah, I was. That's a little weird. Alright, let's talk to Mizuki real quick. Have you been here before? Are you cold? Hey, Mizuki. Are you cold? What does the fuck you look like, you fucking idiot? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. What? What? That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Yeah, it smells weird too. Like, 
I, I see a lot of white stuff in it. What the fuck is that? Is that cum? Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. Have you been here before? Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. <laughs> oh, Why would I lie about that? Mizuki is hunching her shoulders from the cold. Aw, but I want to warm her up. I'd give her my jacket. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other... Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. Now the next step is to find this fucker. We're making progress. I mean, you mean I'm making progress. You're just standing around doing nothing. Hey, I'm being moral support, right? If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. Jeez, Mizuki really is smiling a lot more. I like it. Blood stain. The blood stain contains blood from two people. One of them is Oda's, the Oda, the other it must be the killers. Bradley the killers. Alright, let's head uh let's see. Alright, let's head to the central hospital then. And see he told me again. Oh, my baby girl! I'm coming. I still remember the good sex we had last night. Damn, that was good. What? Yeah, I had sex with Makitoi last night at the hospital. It was the fucking best. What the fuck, Dati? That's, that's Iris' mom! Hell yeah, that makes it even better. Mizuki! God dang it. No, he told me. Fuck. And Date. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, dude? Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Mm, I'm kind of curious about uh, what is going on with her in the other route because she did admit to being the Cyclops killer but I don't think she is and she didn't like get like a leg wound so yeah there's that thanks Mizuki huh you came to visit me right no I can't actually visit Iris I just came in the wrong room uh okay oh yeah right <laughs> it fun? would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation yeah. But still, I would say that. <sighs> when will the day come when Iris is sleeping beside me? Never. Ew, yeah, right, never. My guess is never. Ah, <laughs> oh, guys. Me and Dante are just on the same fucking wavelength. I swear. I know this is sudden, but... I'm brave and smart and handsome, right? Um, uh, no. Um, you're hidden, Miss Oda. I will chide you on your labels. A bedside table. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I swear, this game is just weird sometimes. Hey, Date, I've got this video of a lady cleaning a jumbo jet. Wanna watch? Hell yeah, Oda! Finally! You're speaking my language! I'm not gonna watch your videos with you, Ota. How are you? 
forget me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm used to, like, passing out randomly because I drink so many times. You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika. Reika. <laughs> God, her fucking puffy face is the fucking best. Oh, God. Oh, God. Seriously? Seriously, who is Reika? Seriously. I'm very curious about who the fuck this Reika person is. Like, seriously, it's... Like, they keep mentioning her for some reason. I'm guessing it's a her, because, you know, it's Date and all that. Have you remembered anything? No, just what I told you yesterday. Damn it. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wow, it's Mizuki. No, no. <laughs> His fucking face. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. But Mizuki's a girl and she's 12. Like, Oda, what the fuck is wrong with you? About the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? Nope. If you remember anything at all, please tell me. We, we, uh, we, all, we also found this, like, other blood sample, but I guess we're not going to tell them. Okay. Well, maybe that all depends. On what now? If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. You know, this guy's going to kill Iris later, right? You better fucking tell us everything you know. Are you really going to do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. No, no, it's, it's not. You don't know what her strength is, Oda. Please, for the love of God, I only do this because I don't want you to meet such a gruesome fate. Do not fucking push Mizuki's buttons, all right? Why? She will fucking fuck you up so bad with her fucking immense strength. Okay, just, 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 just trust me on this. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. Nah, I'm gonna fucking punch your head off your shoulders. What are you making her read? <laughs> Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki, you don't have to tell him! No, tell me. I need to know, Mizuki, for research purposes. Alright, about Oda. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor! <laughs> oh my gosh. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. God dang it. Mizuki, you're stroking his ego. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. <laughs> oh gosh. It is a good thing Iris was saved, but he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. I, mean, I, don't see, I, don't, I mean, I don't have a problem with uh, cosplay in public, but yeah, it can be a little bit too much if I see it all the time. About Iris. Heard about Iris. The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Oh my god, Mizuki is so precious when she's not shitting on Date. I love it. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. Alright, should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm, let's see. All right, uh, let's head over to, uh, let's see, Lemnus Gate. Let's see what's over there then. There might be some kind of connection or something.
Let him escape. Tuesday. Oh god, it's the big titty girl again. Oh man, I remember this picture absolutely fascinatingly. Remember like a uh, episode like, like what? Like 4 or 5? Even though it was like a uh, like a uh, th 3 weeks ago at best. But I still remember them. I still remember them. Oh wait, wait. Isn't this a Wait, wasn't that the girl who like uh was in that uh maze area that I saw? I think she was. Wait, hold on. Ah, there she is. I think that is the same girl. Huh. Oh, it's Payasi Samba. What? Oh, yes. Payasi Samba. Or whatever the fuck that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know what the fuck these guys are talking about. Whatever we see this TV, they always say random shit. Ah, oh, yes. Here is my favorite magazine rack in the whole world. This is the good shit here. Lots of magazines in that rack. Special. Underground horse racing bets to win big. I'll take that one home with me next time. <laughs> oh gosh, the, the Valley Girl voice is still strong with that one. What's that sofa stuff with? Sofa stuffing. <laughs> what an answer, Iba. What an amazing answer. Date, look at that. It's a Hercules beetle. Yay! Hercules Beetle! <laughs> ah, gosh, Iba is like so fucking ridiculous. Wait, why is that even here? Wait, what? What do you say? Well, hold on. A high stool. High stool. By the way, a stool is a chair that has no or very small backrest. Okay. It's an abstract painting hung up. Uh someone about that earlier it's like lionfish and shag carpet or something what what lionfish and what lionfish in shag carpet <laughs> the things people say in this game sometimes is just absolutely mind-boggling like where is the line in how much a character can say and how much random shit that comes out of their mouth that, that is like wow uh, let's talk to Mizuki first. Do you have any memories of Renju here? Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual? The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. About the person with the injured leg. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. That didn't do anything, did it? Mizuki ran into the office. After a while, she returned dejected. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Not well. At least we tried. Uh, hold on. Let me talk to this girl. Have you seen any? Have you seen anyone with an injured left leg? By the way, what is your <laughs> what is your cup size? <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Like Dante, like man, like fuck god! Oh gosh! By the way, what's your cup size, girl? Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. <laughs> Three cups would be a nightmare. <laughs> Date, why are you asking that? For, uh, for, like, imagination purposes, obviously, okay? It's, it's, it's a grown-up thing, Yuzuki. I want to touch your too big. Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. Oh, God. Yes! Yes! Seriously? Really? Really? You're not pulling with leg, are you? Yeah. I spent <laughs> To the test. Then she sealed her mouth tight. Then she sealed her mouth tight and puffed out her cheeks. I poked them. Oh my! <laughs> I poked them with my the tip of my finger. They were surprisingly soft. What are you doing? Like what the 
What am I watching right now? You are such a man child! Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Yes, it does! Uh, no. <laughs> what? Misiki punished me to gut and throw. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. I fucking love this game. I'm loving the comedy of this fucking game. It's fucking amazing. Hey, you better do that again, Dante or also I'll punch your face this time. Okay, let's go to Atami together sometime, okay? Huh? What? What are you doing? I am inviting her to dinner because she let me touch her boobs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is like a Chad girl. One who lets you touch her boobs. Wait, what? Let's go to Atami together. I'm putting the investigation on hold. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to Atami with her. Oh, my gosh. Dante. I made up my mind. You can't stop me. <laughs> oh, God, Dante. Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. And it's still going? What? Wait, are you serious? Hell yeah, baby. Do I look like I'm joking? Wait. What is with Dante's eyes? They look kind of lifeless for some reason. Has she has he always looked that way before? Oh my god, he's still asking it! What the fuck, Dante? Dante, you're being annoying again. No, I'm being persistent. There's a difference between being persistent and being annoying. Do you know? How angry I can get, Dante? Yeah, but I don't care. This is my own, my one and only chance. Please do not take it from me. Oh my God, it's still going. Let's go to a Tommy. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. I took her hand and led her out of Lemon's Gate. I left Iba behind. Wait, what? 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 Uh, what? Uh, was I supposed to do that? The what? Wait, what? Thus conclude. Wait, what? What? Wait. Uh, what's going on? Did I get an ending? Did I get a fucking ending? Thus concludes the case of the new Cyclops serial killer. Goodbye, police officer life. Hello, Atami Shizuko. I decided to begin life anew as a carnival worker in the Hot Springs town. The end. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I cannot believe I got that ending. I, I uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, oh God! Wow! Wait! Wait! Hold on! Wait! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Can I get this with other girls or something, or is it just like just like this one funny ending? And with this one fucking girl. Oh, man. Wow. That was pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really like that part. Even though it's not technically a canon ending. It's like a joke ending of some kind. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, like, save it here. For the time being. Me and my girlfriend's Atami route end. Okay, well, uh, I guess I can go back to the flow chart. Okay, so... It's technically an ending, but I don't think I got anything out of it. It's just an ending, of course. Man, that was, like, fucking crazy. Alright, well... Have you seen anyone with an injured left leg? Uh, no, sorry. But I did see your long dick 
while we were having sex in a tummy. That shit was amazing. Let's do it again sometime, okay, Dante? Hell yeah, baby. Let's do it again. Aw, oh, man. That was a good fuck. You are a fucking beast in the bed, girl. Yeah, that's the kind of women I fucking want in my life. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? What? Sounds horrifying. Damn it. Oh god, I wanna try this shit again. Fuck. But no. Gotta keep going on. Sorry, Date. I love you and all, and I actually want you to fucking smash this girl right here, right now, but I hope we get to do this with Itomi. Please, game, for the love of God, let me do this. Let me get that ending with Hitomi, and I will not care about anything else in the story. Just let me do it with Hitomi. Okay, let's check out Renju's office. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Mizuki and I investigated Renju's office, but I didn't find anything that could be a clue. Damn, no hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Alright then. Well, let's go, uh... To Akume Shrine, then. Kumu Shrine, Tuesday. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. Nah, I just got that from a fortune cookie. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You're the one who asked. What kind of like fucking what kind of like response was that, Mizuki? What does it say? When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. That's what it says. That is definitely a lie. I remember telling Mizuki that a Tozuya was for washing your belly button. Does she still believe that? Hmm, I wonder. If she does. It'd be, it'd be pretty funny if she does remember and still thinks that's true. That'd be actually hilarious. Alright, Mizuki. About your training. Yeah, do you remember that time where you like, uh, yeah, did that, uh, punch that shook the heavens? Yeah, let's. I want to see that again. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Oh, but I made that goofy ass face. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. <laughs> He's still doing Leave a stupid fucking thing. Oh gosh. Those things, those things are not gonna last long. Begin! Oh, what the fuck? This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? 
Mizuki, run for it. Uh, wait for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, dude, she fucking knocked the tree from its roots. Wow, oh my god, oh my god. Dude. Mizuki, you scare me sometimes. Nah, it's not sometimes, it's all the fucking time. About the bullies, yeah, did you like, uh, rip their heads off their shoulders? By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you didn't. No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... What did you do? Uh, I kind of like killed them and then like placed their bodies in like a sack and put floated it down the river. You did what? I broke all their front teeth. Hell yeah, that's Jeez. my girl. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on. <laughs> Isn't he so adorable, I swear. And the cutscenes are really good. They are really good. What did you ask for? Titties. To leave this boring place as soon as possible. <laughs> and you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. <laughs> wow! <laughs> You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? Alright, uh, let's see. Marble Abyss Headquarters. Uh, nah, Marble. Let's go there. So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Yep, yeah, pretty much. Hey, Date, honey. Wanna see some half-naked men hugging on the ground? Ew, why? Don't describe it like that. You're talking about sumo wrestling, right? Oh. Uh, okay. I thought it was something else entirely. <laughs> What do you get after malting, milling, mashing, lautering, boiling, and fermenting? Um, beer? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Hey, Date, you remind me of bar stools sometimes. The stool part, anyway. Why? Stool. As in poop? I see <laughs> Mizuki is still capable of being childish at times. Oh my god. The refrigerator. Hey, Date, are you ever going to eat those leftovers you're keeping in the fridge? Oh, shit. I forgot about those. I'll get to it. Shut up. It's probably rotting. Damn it. And it was that delicious teriyaki chicken. Damn it. Hey, Date, I see Caprese on the blackboard. What is that? Oh, wait. I can move the camera while the characters talk? I didn't know that. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. It's a portmanteau for couples are crazy. It's a kind of salad. Uh, what's in the backpack? Still not used to mamba? Do you have problems with gay people? What? Do you have problems with gay people? No, not at all. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. Wait, all the time? What? The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. Wait, 
was there like a scandal around this? Like, I remember this one time there was like this like weird scandal where like a character said like the LGBT. Wait, hold on. I heard that there was like some kind of like controversy about a character saying LGBT or something. Like, I, I don't remember, but it must have been something. Was it from this game? So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it. Bravo. Six million yen to you. You can transfer it to my account. <laughs> sure, Dante, sure. Still not used to Mama? No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little? <laughs> oh my gosh. Haha, <laughs> scaredy cat. Fuck you! <laughs> laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. I'm going to expose your browser history. No, don't! So many porn up searches. What? Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Three minutes with a married woman. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. These two are fucking hilarious. What's in the backpack? Hey, Mizuki. What's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well, water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches. Wait, what? You have a knife? Triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand. <laughs> a Do you grenade? Have an entire what the fuck? disaster relief kit in your bag? Better safe than sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, am I ever gonna like play as her or something and I'm just like, like and it's just gonna like fuck up everything around me? That would be I'm nice. Ready for anything. Perhaps I misheard, but wasn't there an illegal item in there? Yeah, a grenade. Right, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. I don't think. Does she really have it? How does she even get. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I don't even know. About the culprit with the injured leg, about Mizuki. Know anything about the new Cyclops serial killings? Okay, about Mizuki. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. No, like, literally, I will eat you up. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. Oh, <gasps> Date, what are you making me say? I didn't do anything, lady. That's that's you. You said that on your own. Oh come on! Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? I mean, are you a lady or are you a guy? Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask me. I, I'm not. Oh, jeez. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking any risk in this minefield of a of a topic. So let's keep going. I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. Uh, what the fuck? What does that mean? Don't ask Iva. Don't. Don't. I have no idea. Just don't. No, no, no. Just don't. Don't. Don't talk about it. All right, let's get about the culprit with the injured leg. Let's go. Sorry, no idea. Damn, I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. No, hell no. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? Uh, no. Because I'm... you... Take up all the hot water. That's your issue? No, but we're growing with it, Iva. I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. Cost? No, stop. It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Oh my god. Yeah, just, no. Alright, time to fuck off. Uh, uh, Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? Yes. I have an investigation to finish. 
but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Just stop, please. Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? No, cover your ears, Mizuki. You don't need to know. Let's go. All right, that's all the places. Back to HQ, I guess. Wait, what? Sate, a call from boss. Shall I connect you? Sure. No, wait. Wait, what? If I take the call, Mizuki might ask questions. Are you talking to yourself again? Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to a bit headquarters. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. Oh man, is that is that gonna be a good thing for her? This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And anytime we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Date. Well, it's not my fault. Come on, don't be like that. Don't worry, it's what's the worst that's gonna happen? Just tell them what you said to them before, or if you have anything new, just tell them. Oh wait, I missed that. It's like Tuesday at three something. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh come on, I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? No, you don't! Ew, Stop what? that! I didn't lick anything! Anyway, thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Kagari, Mugami, something like that. <laughs> oh my god. Even she can't remember her, his name. Kaniza? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. Oh my gosh. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. Jeez. Oh my god, Mizuki's so funny. So Kagami has something to tell me? Okay. Harbor Warehouse District, Tuesday, 4.43 p.m. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here. But I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said. There were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. And the other? Other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. He's looking this way. Wait. Person? Ahead? This guy? Oh, little Date. Time for your medication. <laughs> what? I said 200 yards ahead. Okay, uh, let me just look around, okay? Oh, that dude. 
Wait. Is that so? Is it Jima over there? I wonder. Where are you looking? 200 miles. 200 miles ahead. I mean, I said yard! Hey, this dude here, right? Yeah, there is Sosajima. That's. Sosajima. What is he doing here? I don't believe it. What? His left leg. Huh? Sosajima! Stop! He was limping. Damn it! Dude, just call the people. It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnium. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Stop it. Calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? Why yeah. would he cut out Iris' eyeball? Yeah, why would well, he, why would he? However, I do agree that so is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches so's. Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? I don't know. No clue. Where can we get So's DNA? Uh, wait. Is this gonna like affect where the routes go? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. DNA. Uh, let's see. This is actually gonna like affect the story, I think. Okay. Well, uh. All right, let me answer this question then, and just uh, go from there. Hey, where's that dude I saw? I wonder. Hmm. All right, well, uh, let me save real quick, and then we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, Lemnus Gate? No. Akumakura's office? Maybe. So's house? Hmm. Is that even the right choice? The Central Hospital. Uh, let's see. Maybe the Central Hospital, I don't know, maybe. Maybe the Central Hospital? I checked their database. So Sejima has never received medical treatment at that hospital. We would not find So's DNA there. Okay, so this is like a question telling us where we can find it. All right, uh, the Kumakura's office? Hey, Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? The cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have So's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. Yeah, it was. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. Man, so many things are happening right now. Like, so many things. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what's up? It's been a while. You fucking with this old man? Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. I looked at the ashtray on the table, but... Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. 
We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. You're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, I'll help you arrest this guy? Pretty much. Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey, guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. These guys are really being cooperative for some reason. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. The henchmen went into the back room. They soon came back with four cigarette butts in a plastic bag. I used disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that so was smoking? Uh, let's see. Which one? The one with the, uh, line on it? I think. Right. He was smoking. Which brand of cigarette was he smoking, rookie? Rambo Lamaris. Klein cigarette, Klein. this one. I remember. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. I wrapped the Klein cigarette butt in my handkerchief and pocketed it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Nah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? What, you guys like her too? What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? <laughs> Neanderthal. I said anything for Tesseract. Okay. That doesn't even make sense. Shut up! <laughs> If you're done here, get your ass going. God, you guys are a bunch of tsundere's. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. Police headquarters, Tuesday, six forty-five p.m. I'm counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. Peter took the cigarette butt from me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. But why would he be wearing a polar bear, though? That's the question. How long will it take to analyze? Hmm. If I had six hours, you've got three. <laughs> That's totally unreasonable. But, I suppose, <laughs> I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence, excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. Well, well, I was suspicious of him, but, uh, boss! Boss! Y you did something to him in the other route! We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? But... Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, wait. 
But if Sosajima is the killer, then what happened to the other route then? He also got his eye pulled out in that other route too. And it was Boss who did it. I, I think she did it, but I, I don't even know. It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't like how th where this is going I right hope this now. Won't be trouble. This it seems too good to be true. true. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Wait, what'd you say? I hope this won't be trouble. Uh trouble? Ooh. I'm thinking that this is what she wants or something. I don't know how, but she somehow like wait, if if it really is her, then where is our, where is her injury? Hmm? Police headquarters, Tuesday, 9.26 p.m. Pewter, is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? Yeah, all right. It was so all along. He was the polar bear. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. But... And probably killed Renju and Shoko. But... I don't know. It's just I, I don't know. I don't think it's him. Making so Sejima the new Cyclops killer. But why would he do it? Thank I... you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're right. I turned around and made my way to the exit. But right when I was about to open the door, I was open. It was open from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? What? I can't let you get So. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. What? what So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. But that's stupid. Do you understand? No, what? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. What? Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough. I pushed past boss and left the room. I walked with a confident stride down the hall, with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was going to get to So Sejima's mansion. I got into my car, turned the key, and slammed my foot on the gas. Dude, what is going on? Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. What? A video? Look! <sighs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Shit! Wait, what? Oh gosh, so many things are happening at once. What the fuck? Dante Residence, Tuesday, 10.08 p.m. What the fuck is going on? Oh no. Mizuki! Mizuki! Where are you? 
Don't worry, I'll find you. Oh gosh, where is she? Where is she? Uh Dante, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. Is she? Oh thank god, she's there. Mizuki! Dante, hurry! Help her! I know, I know. Dude, what the fuck happened? Are you okay? Uh, that hurt, idiot. Pull it off more gently. You're late, by the way. <laughs> I was Yo, come about on. to suffocate, just so you know. <sighs> this is so typical. You're, oh, you're never there when you need to be. You're welcome. Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus, and you... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Huh? Halt, you invest your this. investigation. Wait, what? What's it say? Halt your investigation. Okay, seriously, you didn't beat the shit about, out of who was doing that to you? Seriously, Mizuki? Like, I trained you. You were kicking trees and jumping off rocks, but you couldn't beat whoever did this to you? Oh, man, that was like... Things were like progressing way too fucking fast, but like wow, this was a lot, and wow, I didn't think things would like progress so fast in such a strange manner. I mean, it wasn't strange, more so like it was just like really fast. Like first we first so Sojima, first so Sojima might be the new Cyclops killer, but then Boss was acting weird and all that, and then Mizuki got like messed up and I'm starting to think it really is boss because she's the only one who knew that Misuki was being taken here but who did this to her there's no signs of force break-in or anything so it had to have been someone who was with Mizuki right yeah it had to have been it man now I really need to like I, I really want to see what happens after this but I think I'm a bit too far into this episode right now anyways guys I hope you all enjoyed this episode there was a lot that was in here but well we're still making progress we're still making progress actually where are we in the flow chart right now that far in wow okay then well let's keep continuing then once i get the time or something but we'll have to wait until the next episode anyways i hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please be sure to leave a like a comment and a favorite and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next episode. See you later!